Hello and welcome to Dr. Sudhir's classes. I am Dr. Sudhir Kumar and I will provide you a course on anthropology case studies. See anthropology is a subject in which case studies are the backbone of your answers. They enrich your answers, they enhance your marks, right? And you know that here in UPSC, civil services examination, your marks of the optional subject matters the most, right? So here in this program, I will be providing you one case study from each unit through these YouTube videos, right? So here we are in the unit one, right? And in unit one, I have chosen one case study from the unit primatology 1.4. right there have been questions in past also the how you can say what is the role of primatology in anthropology right especially the biological anthropology we all know that sherwood bashburn was the one who led the transition of anthropology from physical anthropology to the biological anthropology or you can say he led the transition of anthropology from classical physical anthropology to new physical anthropology. What was his argument here? His leadership, he says that we must make physical anthropology interdisciplinary, right? Here, the focus of physical anthropology before Washburn was basically the uh, anthropometric studies, right? Measurement of different body parts, right? Osteological studies, bone study, and through anthropometry classification of humans classification of humans into different different categories or you can say races that was the focus sherwood washburn was not satisfied with this approach and he advocated interdisciplinary approach and in that he says that we must include the study of primates in order to better understand the origins and evolution of the mankind. That was his emphasis now. So that is why we are studying primatology and you can say it is a gift of Sherwood Washburn and his students have undertook research in primatology that have enriched the present day discipline of anthropology or you can say especially biological anthropology. Now in this uh, session I am taking one case study that is on Jane Goodall. Right? The question has been asked on Jane Goodall also in 2020 UPSC CSC mains paper 1. Right? See Jane Goodall was a British primatologist. She was the secretary of Louis Leakey very famous archaeologist British archaeologist of the time right and she worked as secretary of Louis Leakey right Jane Goodall worked in Gombe Stream National Park of Tanzania where she worked on chimpanzees. She studied chimpanzees. Now, what she have learned from uh, the chimpanzees in Gombe Stream National Park, that is very important for us. And I will also tell you where you can use this case study, in which kind of questions you can use this example, this case study. See, <clears throat> in Gombe Stream National Park, 
she observed the chimpanzee behavior right whatever her learnings are it becomes very important for understanding the human kind of the present day right she studied the that chimpanzees have a unique and elaborate social organization right chimpanzees have a unique and elaborate social organization right chimpanzee groups they are divided into patrilineages chimpanzee groups are divided into various patrilineages different different patrilineages do exist you can say male authority prevails in chimpanzees right okay second observation of hers in chimpanzees she observed that chimpanzees make tools right what kind of tools she saw a chimpanzee using a twig right one twig of a plant and make breaking that twig and using it to fish out the mites from the mound right termites from the their mound right that behavior you can say chimpanzees make tool tool making behavior she have seen from there right third thing that she have learned from that that different uh, you know some other chimpanzees they saw one chimpanzee using a tool to take out termites other chimpanzees learned that behavior by just looking at that right so learned behavior right learning by imitation or you can say learning from others that is also she have observed when she was there among chimpanzees then she also observed that chimpanzee females right or you can say daughters learn from their mothers right so she saw the transmission of culture or uh, transmission of you can say behaviors i want to use the word culture from mothers to daughters what she had observed that chimpanzee daughters learn certain behavior from their mothers how to take care of their younger siblings how to take care of their own you can say kids that they learn from their mothers so these are you can say things that were observed by the great jane goodall right now what is the importance of it where all you can use it right that is important for us see basically if you see then there are two three things right one thing is what is the role of primatology in anthropology in that question role of primatology in anthro here you can use this how you can use this see the role of anthropology uh, role of primatology in anthropology is to understand the cultural behavior evolution of cultural behavior you can say right this transmission shared behavior right tool making all of this is important part of our behavior so how the present day human behavior evolved it can provide some insights into that right the learning of jane goodall can provide some insight into that second use can be in second we can use there is a question that is often asked is culture unique to men right so is culture unique to men that means see ld white a very famous neo evolutionist from america who was a 
cultural materialist he says that culture is unique to men because he gave five unique traits that make it possible for humans to have culture what were those traits it was bipedalism it was large brain it was the ability to use language it was ability to use tools right it was stereoscopic vision or you can say this depth perception chromatic vision right these are the five unique traits that we humans possess that make us or you can say capable of making culture and that is why ld white says that culture is unique to men now if i say that culture is unique to men right because we have complex brain we can learn from others right if i can say that we use tools that is important criteria for defining what you can call culture right let us try to test what ld white says by the observations of this uh, primatologist jane goodall right <coughs> tool making is found among chimpanzees so can you say that it is unique to men it is questioned so you can use this in this question right learned behavior you say that we have a complex brain right they also learn from each other one chimpanzee saw that other chimpanzee is using a tool they also started using the tool they started fishing out termites from the mounds by using some twigs right so that is learned this is transmission of behavior that culture is transmitted from one generation to the next generation they also transmit culture from one generation to the next generation right if you say that we have a complex social organization they do have a complex social organization based on patrilineages so it become questioned right one more important finding that i can tell you here is that uh, when uh, see so uh, jane good also that chimpanzees use tool she took this observation to louis leakey right she went to louis leakey and she told him about all this observation what louis leakey says it becomes very important and phenomenal louis leakey says that either we have to redefine what we call a tool or we have to redefine to whom we can call men or human right this become a very important finding because if you say tool using is important behavior then they also use tools right so can i say that it is unique to us in this question you can use the same case study right third thing is theory of mind right theory of mind says that we have a complex mind we can learn we can share we can you can say do complex tasks we can reason logically right don't you think that there is something that is available some you can say a uh, level of thinking some level of understanding some level of reasoning is required in tool making learning and transmission of behavior so can you use this case study the same case study there also right so what i told you in this session i told you that where all you can use this case study what this case study is basically we have discussed jane goodall and her observations in gombe stream national park right and this can be used in role of primatology in anthropology especially biological anthropology right we can use it in disproving a question that culture is unique to men we can use in theory of mind right so this all can be used right i will keep on coming with such case studies on a regular basis i will provide one case study at least from each of the 22 units right so subscribe to this channel and we will keep on providing you such important and insightful videos thank you and all the best